Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting down, this is three diamond paintings. Um, this is, I believe this is the rooster that I got from Art Dot a long time ago. This is even kitted up like the way I used to kit up a very long time ago. As in, I used to put my labels under some masking tape to make it easier to remove. Yeah, that's how old this is. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And then I, I have two diamond paintings here from DIY Digital Art. This one of them was a succulent heart, and then one of them was like the plum blossoms, which I did so long ago also. So yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that just shows how far behind I am in kitting down. So and I and I tend to like to kit down multiple at a time. So I do have I do use this photo box system. I actually am thinking of changing it not doing the photo box anymore and doing a bigger box just so that um, because I have so many that I'm already almost kind of outgrowing these boxes so I was thinking of getting a bigger container and doing more um, columns but we'll see um, <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do three at once so here's 154 168 169 oh these are first Okay, and then the first one on the other one is 310. So yeah, 154. So I do shade match too, so um, it does take me a little longer to kit down than people who will just pour it in, but I just I just can't pour it in if I can't if they look different. No, this looks fine. 154 is red, very dark, and I also found I don't. I can't speak well <laughs> when I do these, so I will probably not talk about anything other than the kitting down. So, yeah. Yeah, no, this are the, these are the instructions to a diamond art club. I'm just using it as a place to stick my sticker. Maybe that's why I was using all those masking tape, these stickers. These are my stickers before I got removable labels, so... 155 forget me not blue nope see this says it's forget me not blue but it looks purple <laughs> but it looks like a different shade of purple than what's in the bag so that's just yeah no that's a different shade of purple i don't know if you can tell from the screen but these are a different shade of purple so i'm hoping i'll be able to take this label off well enough that I'll be able to use it as my label for this container. So, I think I haven't done as many round drills, diamond paintings, as square drills, so I don't have as many spares for. I can't tell. It looks different. Not really. So, maybe it isn't. Yeah, see, I poured it in, it looks fine. It just didn't look... Maybe the, the thing is not as clear as it could be. So this is 159, which is petrol blue light. Okay. 165 is green, bright. No, that looks different. That's what I was thinking. It looks different, but I just had to pour it out just to make sure. And this must have been one of my very first colors um, because I still have the label from when I used to um, label them where I just used to write it out. So now, hey, look, now I have a label for that one. Then peel this off. This is why I started going, to, I, I bought the removable label, so I'm not doing this crazy trying to peel off labels from my containers but these were my, still my old labels all right 165 is green bright 166 is lime green which i do not have any of so first time getting this one so yep even after more than a year of diamond painting still plenty of colors that i don't have Especially, I think, in rounds. Okay. 
But yeah, no, this is this is why I went to removable labels. I'll just remember this kidding down whenever I'm like, why did I spend extra money on removable labels? It's because of this. Okay. 166 is lime green, 168 is silver gray. Kind of looks different, but no, it looks fine. Yep, silver gray. So I do have a piece of paper in the back there just to hold the bag up. Oop, apparently there's still like two more drills in here. And since I still remember this is 168, put that in there. Okay, I do have a piece of paper in there and that's just regular printer paper um, just to hold the bag up. Oh my gosh, this is why I forgot what labels were like when they're hard to remove. And it probably doesn't help that this has been stuck on this container for months because I did this diamond painting months ago. So, 169. So I have two trays in front of me because, you know, in case I... Okay, so this is pewter gray. It looks similar. I think it will be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Pewter gray. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now this one, I have 310. Here's 317. Oh, this is 208. 333. Okay. So 208 is. I have two bags for it. Lavender, very dark. It looks like the second one. One good thing about these containers is they are relatively clear, so I don't have to normally pour it out to mat to do the matching. No. Let's see. Removable labels. Okay, right, three one ten oh three ten. It's this next one. All right, I'm gonna put it on the tray just because pouring from these. I wonder if I diamond paint on this and that's why it's kind of sticky. 310. Yeah, see, and then I use masking tape for these to make it easier to remove, which, yep, see, it was so much easier to remove. But putting masking tape behind is so much more effort, too. I can't tell. You know, that looks different. That's why new baggy You know, it looks, yeah, it looks different. So, nope. Yeah, I was not able to peel that well, so I'm going to need to get a label. labels. Normally I don't need labels, so they're not like right, right in front of me right now. Oh, let me get some. Alright, just use these ones since I found these first. So 317. I have separate containers for my rounds and my squares, so I'm not writing round or square onto these things. Although I could have used my round labels, so well. <laughs> 317. 
three 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 is blue violet. Oh yeah, no, that's different. Very dark. This one looks more bright. Yeah, it looks much brighter. Let's see if I'll be able to take this label off and use it to label my bag. Sometimes they come off, and sometimes they... Nope, that looked good. There you go. Three, three, three. Blue-violet. Okay, so... Okay, so now these are these are all in the 500s, the next ones in the bottle. So 352 is coral light. Okay, I don't have any, so no need to do a match. Always nice to get new colors. Okay. And then 414 is, let's see, I have two bags for them. Okay, I can see why. Yeah, it matches the first one. Steel gray, dark. So 498, okay, and then done 597664 and then 5544564. Five, four, five, four. Okay. 498 is let's see, 498. Where are you? Red, dark. Now that looks brighter. So it's not as dark as the other ones. See now that I see it in the bag, it looks completely the same, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix them. And if it is a shade off, it's very not obvious that it's shade off. Yeah, see, now that I poured it in there, now that's, that matches. Alright, 498, so next one, 554 is Violet Light. Okay, first time getting this one too, woohoo! Violet Light, okay. 564 why wow, okay slowly taking it off I just realized maybe I need to put you so you can see what I'm doing and or you don't really care what I'm doing <laughs> 564 is Jade very light this one I haven't gotten yet either so first time for this one it's a very pretty color it looks more like a mint green to me than Jade but now that I'm thinking about it, Jade it might kind of look mint greeny if it was a light color. Five, so 597 is turquoise. Okay, I already have some of this. I don't know, it looks brighter in my bottle here. Yeah, no, that is brighter. So it'll go into its own baggie. Yeah, no, that's that's a different color. Okay. I just sometimes need that confirmation that once it's in a baggie, it really did look like a different color. Okay. 597 is turquoise. There's a random piece of something there. 646 is... 646, where 
is beaver gray, and I don't have any of that either. Are beavers gray? Is that why this is called beaver gray? I guess it's not completely gray. Oh, so I did look up the history of DMC. I was trying to figure out um, like how did they number things. And it's not obvious. All I know is it's been around a long time. Um, you know, I'm going to pause and pull it up. So yeah, I pull, I looked up the history of DMC. It's not very, like, it's not that easy to find. So I found out that DMC stands for Dolphus, Mig, and Company. It's a French company that started in 1746, and they were doing um, embroidery, embroidery floss and yarn for knitting and crochet. So yeah, the DMC codes have been around a long time, 1746. Um... <laughs> I probably pronounced Dolphus Mieg and company incorrectly, um, but I couldn't find how the numbers, I was trying to find like how did the numbers get assigned and things like that, but I couldn't find it. So yeah, that I don't know. Um, I did see that the reason why there's a lot of um, colors that look very similar is it seemed like anytime they manufactured it differently because all the things were based off of dyes and certain things um and then when like a certain dye maybe got not available or was deemed dangerous and they use something else they end up using a different um number because it was technically different and then i was reading also that the dmc folk had like factories in two different places i think it said somewhere that they were manufactured in France and in the US and then um, things were more expensive in the US for certain colors so they had to replace certain things that they used for the dyes so then they used a different color number so um, that might be why there's also a bunch of discontinued ones because um, maybe things just weren't available at times so yeah so a lot of the colors might have come about um, because just of what was available um, for dyes in and where it was getting manufactured. So, but I could not for the life of me find um, how the numbers got assigned. So if anyone knows that, I'd love to know, but I, I didn't also, I didn't try that hard to look up the history of DMC. I was just happy that I found what it stood for, <laughs> the Dolphus Mieg, Mieg and Company. It's a French company, started in 1746, so that was the best I was able to find. Um, but yeah, no. So, yeah. At some point I was wondering, like, where did DMC come from kind of thing. Um, and I, I couldn't find, like, the history of how the numbers got assigned, but, um, but it did give me an insight of why some, some colors just look exactly the same, mainly because they did, oh, that's a completely different shade, they did, like, assign a different number to it if it was made from something else, which I think is a good idea, um, because then it's the shade, like, if you're really obsessed in shade matching, then, um, at least for threads, then if you're using something else to make the dye, then obviously it's not going to be the same color. Um, now, plastic-wise, how they make the colors, I have no idea. I, I use, like, I think the reason there's so many different shades is because there's just so many different manufacturers, and maybe these drills are not as QA'd. I don't know how they come up with the recipes or recipes, I don't know, formulations for the the dyes for the plastic drills. So my guess is different manufacturers. I don't know. It's maybe it's like kind of like how like different lots of the same color paint could look different. Um, it's pretty much probably that. Um, where just different lots of the same thing just still look different. Um, 
no matter what you do. So, 747, 797, okay, so then everything else is 813, 820, 823, okay. So, yeah. Sorry I couldn't find more. I didn't try that hard. Um, maybe there's just no one is interested in the history of DMC and maybe maybe I just didn't write the right things in the Google search because half the problem with any sort of research you do on the internet is what in the world do you put into the Google search bar? So maybe I didn't I didn't type in the right words or it's just no one bothered writing the history of DMC or something on I should have checked Wikipedia, but when I wrote D DMC on Wikipedia, it like it went and did other, it went to different things. So um, maybe it's because it's an acronym. Um, maybe if I put that Dolphus Mieg or whatever, it would have figured it out. But oop, look, I have three different shades for this. Okay, it matches the second one. Um, I was just happy that I found which one had matched fast <laughs> with the three different shades. Um, but yeah, I didn't try too hard in my let's find out the history of DMC. But yeah, it is from threads and not diamond painting. So they're just borrowing, I guess, the color code, which is fine. Because I think um, a lot of diamond painting companies kind of started or like I think the idea grew from cross stitch and that's why whenever you see like diamond painting a diamond painting listing on on like AliExpress or something you always see the word cross stitch too and you're like why in the world are they saying cross stitch they should just stop saying it because it's just confusing in case you're one of those people who are gonna buy a cross stitch pattern and you end up getting a diamond painting I wonder if that's how um, cross stitchers, um, because a lot of cross stitchers also diamond paint. I wonder if that's how some cross stitchers found diamond painting. They accidentally bought a diamond painting, and then because the AliExpress like things were call it like cross stitch or something, but put diamond painting in there. Um, but yeah, no, but they just continued putting the word diamond painting in there. So, I mean, cross stitch. Okay, so second box. I only have two boxes for my rounds. Um, I have four for my squares. A20 is royal blue, very dark, and I have three bags of it. Um, bag number one and two look very, very similar that I'm very tempted to mix them. This one looks completely different from all three of my colors. Um, so this is going into another bag, um, or should I just mix bag one and two? They look very similar, bag one and two, but I can see why I have them separated. So I'll just keep them separated for now. <laughs> but yep, nope, apparently royal blue, very dark, is a very hard color to recreate equally. A twenty. Okay. Now that's. I don't like how the label looks, so I'll just. Eight twenty. Hey, so many bags for eight twenty. But yeah, I'm, I'm already kind of almost full on this one too, so... Uh, okay, too many leftovers. Okay, A22 is... Let's see. Beige Grey Light. I do have some. It does look matching. This actually looks more like beige. I don't really see the grey part, but... I wonder if there's just some colors that are easier to match, and that's why I have, like, just one shade. I don't know. 823 is 
blue dark. Okay, I apparently have two bags of it. Oh, maybe because I went to the bigger bag? Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and then I just decided to keep the other one because I already have a big bag. <laughs> Take off the label. I think half my battle in this kidding down is just taking off these labels. Okay, that one was fine. Okay, so 842, 898, 907, 932, oh, 917, 938. Let's do those. 842 is. Where is it? Beige brown, very light. Okay, they look, these two are completely different from each other, but this, this looks like number one. <laughs> yeah, no, those are completely different. I don't know how anyone could even stomach mixing those two, but I've seen it, and now I'm like, ah, when I see it. But I don't know, I think I'm wondering if like a year from now, and I have so many extra drills, I'll be like, eh, I'll just mix them. Who cares? <laughs> we'll see. I still can't stomach mixing them. And I have so many baggies that... Okay, that looks like number one. See, this one looks brown, and then this one looks more black. This is coffee brown, very dark. I do like how easy it is to kip down from the bottles, because they fit just in the mouth of the baggie. No, this label is not coming off easily. Okay. 907 is a green, let's see, parrot green light. Okay, those, I cannot tell. They actually look very, very similar, but it looks more like a number one. I'm very tempted to mix them. They look very, very similar. So, yeah, we'll see. In the future, maybe. Okay, nine of Okay, no, that's not coming off. Not coming off at all. Yeah, okay. 917, that's why I went for the... No, that looks different. I actually think a tiny bit of this color got mixed into there. So yeah, I must have had a not very good eye before, because yeah, I can see there is a slight variation in shade there. Um, let's see, 9.32 is antique blue light. Oh no, that looks different. I could see it right away, it looked different. But then watch, I pour it into a bag, it doesn't look that different. Let's see, 9.32. I'm not sure if you could hear my fan, it is it is a little, it did get a little warmer again, um, it's, it's in the, like, the highs are in the 80s today, so, and for me, that's, that's warmer. 9.32, considering last week was a nice little break from this more hot temperatures, because it, it stayed below 80 last week, so. So now, now it, it's going back up, so, alas, it was only a short break. Okay, so, coffee brown, ultra dark, I must get a lot of this, because I have it in the big bag, and I might have a couple different shades, but it's, I think once you start getting to the really darks, um, the shades aren't as important, I think, personally. It's the lighter colors where you could really tell the difference. Nine three. Okay, nope, that didn't pull off nicely. Okay, nope. Okay, 
So, let's see. More 900s. Okay, so these are still 900s, and then the next one is... The next ones are 3,000s. Okay, so 957 is... Geranium. Pale. Ooh. First time getting this one. Woo! I don't know why I'm excited when it's the first time I'm getting something. It's a very pretty color. Yeah, see? The whole masking tape thing. That's what I had to do before I got the removable labels. 959 is sea green. Does this match any of them? Okay, it matches the second one. It's a very beautiful color. Sea green medium. Okay. Nine, this one's 964 is sea green light. Oh, first time I'm getting this one too. Nine nine three is aquamarine, very light. Okay, so I do have some of this. I don't know. It looks the same, but it looks a little darker. No, it looks fine. Aquamarine, very light. It doesn't look very light, <laughs> but look, they, they match. So I'm um, I'm wondering if there's an ultra very light or something. <laughs> Nine, nine, five is electric blue. Okay, I have two shades of them that look, no, it matches more this one. Electric blue dark. Okay. Okay, so now we're getting to the three thousands. Okay, so 30. 3023. This one is 36. And then the next one is 37. So 3023 is. I don't know even know why I'm doing like the whole like doing them in order, considering that it's still all the same box. I could just go back into the box. <laughs> yep. 3023 is brown gray light. See, that's the problem when the box is very full. They start, like, falling down on it kind of thing. Okay, 30. 30. Nope. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 3607 is plum light. Okay, right, it doesn't look like any of them. <laughs> it's like a completely different color. Like the other ones look more um, pink. This one looks a little bit purple. Yeah, it doesn't match them. Nope. I'm messing up the label, so I don't think it's going to be able to Yep, go be my label for the baggie. Nope. So, three, six, oh, oh wait, ooh, I have one, one of, this must have been one of my first colors. So, didn't have to write a label. Yay! Okay. So, three, seven, seven, zero. Do I have any more three, seven? So, this one is a three, seven, five, two. Okay. So, so three seven seven zero is Tawny. Okay, I have two. And it matches the second one. Three 
They look actually very similar, and I think if I mixed them, I wouldn't even notice. But this one is slightly lighter. Oh wait, I still have one more. And this one's a little bit... Wait, I still have one more! Like, did I not... <laughs> Where did I... I thought I, I poured it in. Alright. Come on. Nope. Nope. It did not want to come off well. This is why removable labels... And then the diamond painting companies that provide labels, I hope that they're removable, because, yeah. Because I would rather not have the labels if they're not if they're re not removable. Three, seven, five, two. That actually came first. Okay. Antique blue, very light. Yeah, no, that looks fine. Okay, 3752, antique blue, very light. Take this off. Okay. 3799 is. Pewter gray, very dark. Yeah, that looks fine. Don't have much of this one at all. Okay, so now we're in the three eights. Okay, so this is three eight oh eight. Ooh, there's two three eight tens. So we'll see if they match. So we'll do these first. Three eight oh eight is turquoise, ultra very dark. Yeah, no, that looks pretty good. It's a very pretty color, the turquoisey. On labels. Nope. This did not want to come off either. Okay. Three eight ten is turquoise dark. Okay, I have two bags because I can't see. Nope, it's the first one. Turquoise dark. Can I take the label off? Alright, that one came out nicely. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Three eight. Oh wait, this one is three eight ten also. Ooh. Looks like the second one. Yeah, I think that first one was the the other one, so... Okay. 3, 8, 19. Moss green. Yeah, that looks matchy. I hope it did, because, you know, there's like so few in this. Like, how often do I get this moss green light? Three, eight, two, one. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, this one doesn't close. No, it closes. All right. Three, eight, two, one is straw. Yeah, that looks fine. I would think straw would be more of a beige instead of yellow, but hey, that's two um, at least two diamond paintings that had that and they they match each other. So three, eight, four, five is turquoise medium. Ooh, I have very little of this. I think it matches. Bright turquoise medium. 
It is bright. I, I would think it would be more of a blue, not turquoise. Turquoise, I always think it's a little bit green. So, okay. So, 3865. I'm just going to do this since I saw it. So, I have a whole bunch of 3865, which is white, um, which is very similar to 5200. So, yep. I might need a new bag. <laughs> Another bag. So 3865 is winter white, 5200 I think is, what did, what did they call it? Snow white. Um, um, 5200 is a little bit more white. 3865 is a little bit more beigey. It's less white. Yeah, no, that's fine. So I have a lot of white. White. Oh, I have a random not white drill in there. Can I pick it out with my hands? <coughs> Lots of white. Okay, I think that bag is it for the 3865 and the next time I kit down I'm gonna have to get a brand new bag for my 3865, it's very full. Okay. I, I think it's a little easier to peel it off when it's on the bottle. Okay. Oh, and then I put an X on this because it doesn't close, and that's because there's no ridge here. I tried all the normal tricks, as in put, pull the tab forward thing, but no, there's, it's just because there's no ridge to catch it here. Alright, so that diamond painting here is done. Okay, so now let's finish these ones. Three, eight, six, two, six, four, three, eight, three, six. Uh, these ones are before that, and then there's 5200. Lots of 5200. 38. I used to have 5200 in the front, but I found it more likely in a diamond painting to be in the back, and and I just figured it was. Oh, this is the first time I'm getting this one. 3836 Great Light, and it was just easier to put it in the back because if you don't have to get the box again because you'll still have this here in front of you kind of thing. So you don't have to be like, oh, I forgot it and go get box number one. So even if it was in the front, well, and this one was in the front, I think, then it, yeah, it still works out better just to put it in the back of the diamond painting, um, of the back in, of the DMC box, or in my spares box. 348 is... Teal green. Oh, first time I'm getting this one too. 3848. Teal green medium. Okay. Yeah, if it wasn't for the label removal, this would be so much faster if the labels just came off. Came off. Why won't they come off? Yep, all my newer kits have. Um, when I scanned the labels, I made, I used, um, removable label paper, so, that looks kind of different. Straw very dark. Yeah, no, that looks different. So that will go into its own bag. Three, eight, five, two is straw very dark, and the labels are still fighting me for Okay. Three eight six one is cocoa light. So this is one of the very first. No, that looks different. So this one looks more brown. This one has like tints of purple on it. So making it a less brown looking. Yeah, no, that looks different. 
Oh, but this must be one of my very first colors that I got because I have my early label back when I just wrote it out and wasn't fancy and wrote, you know, made labels. I don't know if I showed it, see if my labels are all that kind of pretty. And if you want to print your own labels, I did, I, I do link the um, templates that I use to print the labels. Um, if I remember to put it in the video, 3862. I oh, see, this is one of my very, very first colors because this is how I used to um, kit up was just cut out the bag and then put it into a baggie and put it into there. So yeah, this is one of my old, old, old. It matches this one ways I used to kit up. I'm gonna just throw this away. So back in ancient times before I had tons and tons of storage, um, <laughs> I would just cut it out from the bag there, but that just takes longer than just making your own label. 3864. And you know what? Like with all my storage that I bought, I actually don't, I don't think I've bought my own, unless you call my label paper, buying my own labels. I haven't really bought any labels because like, I swear you buy storage and they all come with some sort of label and then you buy another storage and sometimes they come with lots of labels. So, except for my sheet label that I use to scan and print my, but I mean like these labels. Maybe if I didn't do the whole scanning thing, I would need to buy labels because I don't have any. But no, just the sheer amount of storage I buy. Okay, so 5200 is Snow White. I have one bag of them. I just want to make sure it... See, this is like a really, really white, so I want to make sure that this matches. Because I've gotten some 5200 that were more a gray white. So now these, these look pretty white. Um, I think I might have to switch over to my longer bag. Um, I'll just do it because I have three bottles of this. Do you see this? Um, so I figured just the three bottles will fill up this bag here. This is what happens when you have one color be a primary background is that you end up having tons left over and you know what I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna leave that bag in there it does see this one looks way wider than this um, so I'm just going to leave that Where's my pen? Did I lose my... Oh, there it is. So, B5200. Um, I'll just leave the thing in the other bag just because it's already on there. And plus, I already oh, practically filled up this other bag. <laughs> okay, it's so hard to take the labels off. Okay. Okay. So, there it is. It's kitted down. I'll probably have to wipe the top of these containers with some sort of with Goo Gone, which I actually have next to me. I might as well just do it on camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have it next to me. Okay. So I got this Goo Gone from the Dollar Tree. So, in case you're like, where do I buy some Goo Gone? I got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this cloth I'm using <laughs> This is just, I got this from the Dollar Tree too. It's those ones that you put on the, the Swiffer, um, you know, the Swiffer thing. And then I just use it over and over. Um, 
like that you put on those Swiffer, what do you call those? The Swiffer mops. So, so I just wetted everything first with the Goo Gone. It does smell like kind of citrusy. So if it's not your type of smell, then you might not want to use Goo Gone. You could probably just use alcohol. Um, But the Gugon is meant for this, right? The take off the excess. Okay, this one has a lot of excess on the sides here, so I didn't think I'd be able to get to it with just my, let's just do the top. Um, but I think I got it. Everything looks good. So I did put a little too much on, oh wait, there's a little bit of right there. So then I'm just going to fold this cloth over and go to a dryer section and just take it off because Goo Gone is is oil based I'm pretty sure um, does it say what it's made of you're supposed to actually like after applying Goo Gone you're supposed to like um, wipe it with stuff but I kind of think that just having the a little bit of the goo gone there being kind of oil based I think it's oil based I can't tell it doesn't say what the ingredients are um, that oh it contains petroleum yeah see oil based um, that it will actually make it easier to remove labels in the future although I'm using removable labels so I don't know if I want it that easy so you might want to use the Goo Gone and then um, wipe it with a baby wipe, which do I have with me? I do. Um, because yeah, it is petroleum based, so it is oil. Um, but, but yeah, I can get my baby wipe and then wipe it. And then I'll let that dry because, you know, baby wipes are kind of wet. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there it is all ready for my next thing that I'll kit up on this. Okay, so yeah. But the object of, the, of this kit, um, kitting down is removal labels are your friend. <laughs> okay, so... I'm done with this, so thank you guys for watching, and happy diamond painting! Bye!